Hello everyone, look who I have with me today. I'm not ready for this yet. So what we're gonna do today is actually start the decorating process for Christmas here in the Black Daily household. I don't think we're dressed appropriately for that. Well, we haven't got any of the Christmas stuff out yet. Why'd your voice just go up like that? Because we've got to get there. So we're gonna now start getting the stuff out from under the bed to take upstairs and all around the house to start decorating our place. <gasps> I want that one. You wore this last year. You're gonna wear this every year. Yes. Lance, stop. That's a good one. I like this one. This is filled with all of my childhood decorations. Decorations and a frog. There's a frog. I think I got you that one. Yeah. How old are these gingerbread men? What? How old are they? <clears throat> Not as old as me. <laughs> Whoa. Come on. Oh, you're so strong. Okay. Not done. Well, guys, we're not nearly done. There's another bed and another guest room filled with uh, Christmas gear. Christmas cheer. Exactly. <laughs> Lance got upset because I moved the time lapse. Well, if you're gonna make a movie about this, you should do it right, Tom. So, what are we getting out in here? Nothing. Maybe I'll just cancel Christmas. Why? Because you ruined the time lapse. No. But it's like really close up. On you know, kind of. You, you're mean. Look at you. I'm gonna be a bah humbug elf. If this is how we're gonna start things, with you shutting off the time lapse, and then with you getting in a wide angle and putting it up in my face like that. Here it is. So now that we've got all of the decorations out, it's now time to actually get into festive jumpers, isn't that right? Yeah, this is not very festive, is it? Should we do it? Sure. Three, two, one. As if by magic. Look at that. I've got a snowman one, you've got a... <gasps> That's mine! That's mine! It's been a year. That's I've mine. missed you all. You have... Long. That is mine! Yeah, what are you going to do about it? Get you out of it's it. It's my old baby. That is much better. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. So let's take away the Harry Potter cleanup after yourselves. Power cells don't work here and replace it with this beautiful, oh, careful, wreath. Lovely. My mom made one of these before I was even born uh, that we would take these little hand sewn, hand beaded ornaments she made for each day of the year and we put them onto the little velcro on the tree. Oh, Where should we put that? Somewhere special. I like this as a centerpiece. Yeah, but we might find this. This is what it was last year. See, it's Mr. and Mrs. Snowman. This was my mom's angel that she got for her first tree. So it would have been like 1969, 1970. My mom always put this pile of poof. Pile of what? Pile of poof. <laughs> she made like a little angel cloud for it. Oh. It's time to take down the Union Jack fun thing. But only to replace it with Christmas one. So the bunting's on now, so now it's time to see what we have left here and then we gotta go get more decorations lads. <clears throat> but when when do we start eating sugar? It's not Christmas. Yeah, no, that's that's what I define Christmas as, the moment in which sugar no longer sticks, right? It doesn't count. Is that not true? Sugar always sticks. 
So just going through the stockings, and this stocking here was the first stocking I got for my first Christmas way back 23 years ago. And as you can see, it's all handmade, it's really cute, and it's it doesn't fit that many stocking fillers in, but I'm pretty sure it wins the prize for the coolest one. Well, I'm only partly through here, but as you as you can see, we have Allie. There's Allie. We have Todd. We've got Todd. We have Lance. We have Lance. And then because I'm extra good, we have two Lances. Well, what about a Tom? Mess. Lovely. Two Lances because I'm extra good, extra nice, and extra special, and I get twice as many gifts if you put out twice as many stockings. There's a tip for you kids. Put out an extra stocking, get some more gifts. Wow, it's gone all erect. That's what you do to me, Tom. Pretty. Bye. No! As this is where my mum is going to be staying, we're going to wrap all of this purple tinsel in and around. Why purple? Purple is my mum's favourite colour. Lilac, to be precise. So, anything purple, she is your best friend. You found a space for the angel. I did. Here's my mom's angel. And it's gonna be right here. Hmm. In her little cloud. So cute. Get more decorations. Get more decorations. What are we gonna do? Uh get more decorations. We're gonna go get more decorations. We're gonna eat sugar. No, we're gonna get more decorations. It's Christmas for each. And we're gonna get decorations. I'd like to eat more sugar. <sighs> Decoration shopping. So we made it to the shop to try and get some more decorations, so it's time to explore, but I've got a feeling we're gonna go a little bit crazy. So we might have gone a little bit crazy on the whole um, shop front. We've got a lovely little pop-up light penguin. We have got some tinsel presents. We have got a new little Christmas tree. Lots more tinsel. Whoa, what are you about to do? Bang, boom. What are you about to do? I'm about to get super damn Christmassy in this house. Do you want to be any lispier? I'm about to get super damn lispy in this house. <laughs> you have done one fantastic job there. You have done so well. It looks really good. Oh my gosh. What's happening with that? I don't know, screw? Yeah, we can screw. This is gonna be our centerpiece that's gonna light up and go on there this year. Instead of the Merry Christmas, we decided to get rid of the Merry Christmas and get a stag on the wall. So here goes nothing. Whoa. What do you think? Of what? That on the wall, is it in the right space or not? Why don't you tell me? You wanna screw again? We could screw again, but then put the Merry Christmas underneath it. You want to do a Merry Christmas screw? Yeah, let's do a Christmas screw. It's just 400 year old brick. Nothing to get precious about. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to turn on the Christmas lights feature wall. I'm so excited about it. So you might have to go back and see. Go back and see. Go back and see. Go back and see. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh my god. 
Look at it. It's so good. So the next step of the Christmas decorating process is that on all of these wiry things, I put a ton of tinsel to make it look extra, extra, extra tacky. So, I'm gonna get started now. What on earth is going on here? Uh, Let me help you. Give hand me something. This is what? This is yet another um, really tasteful new addition. This Christmas is the bridge between the classiness of our parents and the tech of us. Great, lovely. Anything this horrible? This horrible? In my life, yeah. No, no, truly. Like this was the tackiest. Oh my god, it comes with baubles. This was the tackiest, ugliest Christmas thing I'd ever seen. And the minute I saw it, I thought, oh my Wait. God, man, I must have this. Oh my God. What the hell is going on? By the way, <gasps> by the way, it's perfect. The only thing more magnificent than uh, the hideousness before us now is that in one minute, it's going to light up. So now the, the tree has been erected. <coughs> Excuse me. It's just one of the trees because we're going to have two others. We're going to now turn it on and to do that, I'm going to turn off the lights. The lighting of the erect tree. Go. Whoa. It's not very bright. So that was part one of us decorating our home. Hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what you think so far by leaving a comment below. Give us a like and make sure you tune in very soon where we're gonna be doing... Will you be quiet back there? Very soon when we do a Christmas tree decorating because we've still gotta get our trees and finish off a few bits. So make sure you tune in next time.